Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another what I eat in a day. For those of you that are new, I lost 50 pounds and I've been able to keep the weight off with smarter, healthier meal options and a better lifestyle. I do have an entire playlist dedicated to a bunch of meal ideas if you're interested, so be sure to check those out. Breakfast today is a pretty typical go-to. I start off by topping off my ice water from the night before. Then I make coffee. My recent favorite coffee creamer has been the Coffee Mate Rice Krispie Treats. It's so good. It just honestly tastes like vanilla and marshmallow. Then I'm going to make a little yogurt parfait type thing. <laughs> My go-to is the Faya Greek yogurt. This is the 0%. And I'm gonna take a serving size of this, topping it off with a handful of granola, a little drizzle of honey, and then a giant handful of blueberries. Sometimes I'll add bananas, strawberries, whatever fruit you prefer or however you wanna switch it up. But this has definitely become a go-to for me, especially in the summer. For lunch today, I'm basically gonna have an open face sandwich as the main part of the meal. So for that, I'm not gonna use bread. I'm actually gonna use these everything flavored rice cakes a slice of provolone cheese, and then I'm just gonna rip up some Everost deli chicken, just so honestly it fits better onto the rice cake. Also for those of you that are not a fan of rice cakes, you could certainly opt for a slice of bread instead or make a lettuce wrap or even just make this into a roll up. Also for my sandwiches, my go-to condiments are either mustard or tzatziki. I love that flavor, especially in the summer. It's just so refreshing. Today I didn't add either, but just to switch it up now and then, those are my two go-to. As a side, I'm gonna have some bread and butter pickle chips. I love pickle chips. And then I like to pair this with a fruit or a veggie. Sometimes I'll do fruit salad, but today I'm gonna have apple slices. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna make cranberry glazed turkey meatballs with casserole style broccoli. So to do that, I'm first going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Then cutting up my broccoli, I'm gonna place this on a baking sheet with a little bit of salt and pepper and olive oil, baking this for about 15 minutes. In a bowl, I'm going to combine two tablespoons of Italian panko, about a spoonful of mayonnaise, half a teaspoon of salt, a pinch of pepper, poultry seasoning, and about 10 ounces of ground turkey. And you're gonna mix this together really well, trying to get the meat completely coated in the mixture. Once this is all mixed together, you're gonna make equally sized meatballs, as best as you can. Placing these on a nonstick pan with some olive oil. Cook these for about six to eight minutes, just rolling them around occasionally, so they're cooked all the way through. Moving on to making the sauce for the broccoli. In another bowl, combine your cream fridge, dill seasoning, and a tablespoon of water until this is all smooth. I like to put this in the fridge after it's mixed together to keep it nice and chilled while I'm finishing up. Then place your pan in the hot oven, roasting until they reach the minimal temperature of 165 degrees. So this should be about another six to eight minutes. Then combining two teaspoons of water and about three ounces of cranberry sauce, I'm gonna stir this together really well and then top the meatballs with the sauce. Finishing up with crispy fried onions and shredded Parmesan cheese. I do have the exact measurements and everything I mentioned listed in the description box as well in case you missed it or wanna know more. So be sure to check that out. So that's everything for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you're still subscribed to my channel and you have notifications on so you never miss a new upload. Thank you guys for all of your continuous support. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more and I'll see you guys in the next video.